If you understand this, you will change the world. In the midst of the historical chaos of the late 20th century, they become the archaic pioneers. They become the first people to carry the Ouroboric serpent around to its own tail and to make a closure. And to the, to the degree that any one of us has this, uh, this connection back to the archaic in our life, it makes where we have been make a lot more sense and it makes where we're going seem a lot more inviting which it really is I think. if you give me 45 seconds of your time I will teach you how to become unstuck in life and here's what you have to do you have to be aware of the thing that's causing you to be stuck that thing that's causing you to be stuck is actually rooted in unawareness and it's called your ego so here's what you need to do Simply ask your person, ask your human, why does this bother you? Why do you feel this way? And you'll be shocked at what the answer you'll get. And then once you get that answer, simply ask your human, okay, so now what? Why can't you get over the fact that he left you? Because he broke my heart. Okay, now what? Well, then I might not find anybody else. Okay, now what? Well, then I might be alone. Okay, now what? Well, there was nothing there to begin with. from the rest of consciousness and create a separate reality on its own, it can do that too. This is called the Lucifer experiment. Because spirit is God, it can do this. There is nothing wrong with that. We've kind of been led to believe that Lucifer is evil and the devil. This just isn't true. Lucifer is just another means of perceiving the reality. It is not a unity perception of oneness, but rather a duality perception of two-ness. There's a flower of life pattern for Lucifer as well, but that's a big topic for another time. Anytime the Lucifer experiment has been attempted in the universe, it always ends in failure. The species will cut itself off from love and will become incredibly male, left-brained. What always ends up happening is that everyone becomes very greedy. There is no compassion for one another, and everyone ends up fighting until they end up killing themselves. More than a million years ago, the beings on Mars joined the Lucifer experiment, and it failed dramatically. Basically, they cut themselves off from the unity of the universe and created a separate reality. When the Martians severed the love bond, they became pure male, logical beings with no emotions. What happened on Mars was that they ended up fighting. Mars became a battleground. Eventually, it became clear that Mars was not going to survive. They blew their atmosphere away and destroyed the surface of the planet. Nova recently did an episode on planetary magnetics, and they found some interesting things about Mars. The planet didn't have a magnetic system, however the surface was magnetized, implying that at one point it did, but that something happened. Now, we've been discussing the star tetrahedron before, and now I want to give you a brief understanding of the Merkava. The Merkava was known in ancient times as the Chariot of Ascension. It is the star tetrahedral energy field around the body. All around the world there are references to this in ancient texts. When activated to its full potential, the Merkava, which is both a tool and part of your being, can be used to do the impossible, included but not limited to changing dimensions and traveling through the universe. Before Mars was destroyed, they built huge tetrahedral pyramids. They built three, four, and five-sided pyramids, eventually building a complex that was able to build a synthetic Merkava. After a million years or so, it's been eroded, but the proof is there. Now, because the Martians were severed from the unity consciousness, they couldn't create a living Merkava. They simply used it as a tool. They created a synthetic Merkava to travel in time and find a new home. A small group of Martians tried to get away from Mars before it was destroyed, and that place they found was Earth, about 65,000 years in our past. They saw this little vortex sitting there, just pulling in life, with no one in it. They didn't ask permission. Being part of the Lucifer experiment, they just said, Alright, let's do it. Stop what the fuck you're doing and just listen to me for a second. Go on Google and type in annual perfections. You're gonna see this chart. Whatever age you were turning in 2021, go to it. For me, it's 26, right? Which means, and go directly up and you're gonna see third, fourth, fifth, so whatever yours is. Mine's the third. So then you're going to go to your natal chart. Now you have to have your natal chart ready. I should have said that in the beginning. But, okay, so my third house is Aquarius. You're going to find the planets. Again, three. Aquarius. Mine is in Saturn. So this is going to be my Saturn year. So now you go in Google. And for me, again, I would type in Saturn's Promise Report. And it's going to tell you all the things you're going to endeavor this year. This is called your natal promise report. Do you keep imagining something and for some reason your manifestation just isn't coming? A lot of the times is because we accidentally imagine the middle. We accidentally imagine how. So for example, fire and ash, you don't want to manifest your boyfriend saying that he didn't mean that. What you want to do is completely erase the fact that that happened by creating a situation where you are already together at the beach laughing and eating fruit together because that would mean something happened that made you guys come back together it's really